AI guided missiles. One of the deadliest weapons in Space Engineers. I'm Alice and today I'm going to show you how to automate your AI missile production and launching multiple missiles automatically after printing with the use of the new event controller in Space Engineers. Firstly, you will need your AI guided missile. Now it will need a small merger block and small connector for today's demonstration. Then you will be needing a piston with a hinge or rotor going from large grid to small grid, a pair of welders to print your missiles, and lastly you will need three event controllers and two timer blocks. Now we will start off by firstly preparing our missile. For this guide you will be needing your missile to be equipped with one small merge block and one small connector, one event controller, one timer block, and two upwards facing thrusters. First you want to go into your missile's control panel before locating the event controller. Then you want to select the event connector connected before selecting the connector that is placed on your missile. Then we want to go into the select actions tab where we will need to set up a few things. If you have a hydrogen powered thrusters like mine, you will want to have hydrogen tank stockpile on in the very first slot and toggle off in the second slot. Then in the next tab, you want to have one of your thrusters toggling on. And in the third tab, you want to put your timer block on start. Next, we want to make sure that the thruster we said to be toggled on in the event controller has thrust override on max and is toggled off. We also want to toggle off our other upwards thruster before going into the timer block. Now in the timer block you can set the delay to whatever you like, but this will be turning on our guidance system. So go into setup action, and then we will need to do a few things. We want to set our AI flight blocks, AI behavior on. We want to toggle on the other thruster, and we want to arm the warhead. There's a few more things we need to do before we are done with the missile. Go into your AI offensive block and toggle the attack pattern to intercept. Then you can choose whatever guidance system you like and make sure that AI behavior is toggled on. Then going into the AI flight block, you want to make sure that AI behavior is toggled off, collision avoidance is toggled on, and that the speed limit is set to 100 meters per second with the minimum altitude being set to zero. Then with all of that set up, you want to take a blueprint of your missile and then name it to something that you will recognize. With the missile being complete, let's go ahead and set up our launching system. Now let's go ahead and set up our printing first. So in your very first event controller, you want to set the event to piston position percent which is located towards the bottom of the list, setting condition to equal or less than, with a threshold of 0.1%. Then you want to select your piston, and then go into select actions. Here make sure that your welders have been grouped up, and that you toggle them on in the first slot, and toggle them off in the second. Then in the second tab you want to make sure that all projectors are toggled on in the first slot and toggled off in the second. In the third tab you want to toggle off the event controller for connector lock, which we will get to in a moment, with it turning off in the second slot. And lastly in the fourth tab you want a, one of the timer blocks to toggle on start. Next, let's go ahead and configure that first timer block. So set the delay to how long it'll take for your missiles to print before then setting up the action to extend the piston. Next, let's go ahead and set up our connector lock event controller. So find the event connector ready to lock 
before then selecting the two small connectors that you have at the end of your piston. Then in setup actions, then in setup actions, you want to have the first connector lock in the first slot. And in the second tab, you want to have the second connector lock. Then let's go ahead and set up our third event controller. So go ahead and select the piston position event once again, but this time have the condition be equal or greater than, with the threshold being 99.9%. .9%. Select the same piston before then going into select actions. Now in the first tab, you want to have one of the merge blocks toggle off in the first slot before having the merge block group toggle on in the second slot. Now, in the second tab, make sure that you have the connector that is on the same side as the merge block in tab 1. Then set it to unlock. In the third tab, you want that same connector to be toggled off in the first slot before having all connectors being toggled on in the second. Lastly, you, on the fourth tab, you want in the launch delay timer block, you want to set the delay to, again, whatever your personal preference is, before setting up actions. Here, you want your remaining merge block to toggle off the connector on the same side to unlock before then having it be turned off. Now make sure all of the event controllers are toggled off whilst you configure your projectors. If we go into our very first projector, go into the blueprints tab before then finding our missile, before opening it and lining it up with the merge block and connector on the corresponding side. You also want to make sure that keep projection is toggled on so that you won't have to set this up for every time you want to print to the missiles. Then you do the same on the other side and once both are ready we can test our system before then turning the event controllers on and having our piston reverse. Now, as we can see, the moment the piston arrives, it turns on the projectors and the welders, it welds, it finishes, and launches the missiles. Now, as we could see, it already launched the first batch successfully. So if we go into our As we could see, it launched the first batch successfully. So now if we were to simply retract our piston once more, we can see how the system we set up is completely and fully automated apart from the retracting piston part, which can just as easily be automated to have a rapid firing missile launcher. Now, this was just one way of setting up this automatic missile launching system, and I encourage you to experiment. You can set this up in whatever way you want. This is just one combination. And with that, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you found this helpful in any way, shape or form, then go ahead and smash that like button. And if you want to see more guides like this one, then don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.